11.57, let's just say 12 p.m. on a double order from Uber. So by now, everyone should know about what's going on in NYC, so I don't have to explain why I'm doing a double order for like eight bucks. So y'all should, should know by now. Thank you. Here for Pauline. Thank you. Thank you. On another episode of Manhattan Small Ass Elevators, bro. Look at this thing. Wow. So much. How do you move in elevators like this? How do you fit a mattress in here? Like, that's those are the real questions. How do you fit a mattress in here? I had to take my delivery bag off and just leave it downstairs. So the other night on my way home, I got caught in a thunderstorm. Like it was, it was just a random thunderstorm. It was not even supposed to rain all day. So I had to ride my bike in the rain for like, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. But tell me why I've been sick for the last two days. So this morning, I'm pretty sure I don't feel sick anymore. I just feel like, um, oh, there, there's my bag. I just feel like allergy symptoms. So I popped a Claritin like right before I started this recording. So I'm just waiting for that to kick in right now. Uber sending me another delivery. I'll do that one. Accept. So the second customer is actually a block away from the first one. The first one I delivered. And on this order, they are the first department. So it's one of those lazy deliveries won't even have to lock my bike or anything all right yep there it is hi thank you so much you're welcome easy ass order so one thing i've been trying to stop doing is telling people have a good day i know it sounds weird but here in manhattan specifically because when I was in Brooklyn, I didn't see this problem. But as soon as you hand people the order, they're already closing their door. <laughs> Which I mean, I have no issue with. It's just that I got into routine of, of saying like, have a good day. So like, it must be messing up my flow. It's just like, it's just so awkward. Cause I'm like, hey, go have a good. And like the door is shutting in your face. I, I got Jake and Carl. All right, so this actually turned into a double from the same store, got both on the way. So I knocked, he texted me to leave it at the door. So I did just that. This order is only going to the second floor, but I'm being lazy and I took the elevator. Yeah, yeah, good. Hi, here for Kerry. Thank you. All right, we're on another double order. I picked up one order already. I'm here waiting for the second store. I already set my five minute timer. So if the five minutes is up and I don't feel like the order is going to be done on time. I'm just going to leave. All right. As soon as I turned the GoPro off, he came outside with the order. I'm downstairs. Oh. <laughs> All right. I just got up All right. before I timed it for a second. Yeah, that's there a good time. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good day. So he just got off the bus and ran into me. Perfect. Coming down Allen Street, one of the worst bike lanes in existence. Well, then again, most New York bike lanes are ass. Like, wh why, why are we on the same side as pedestrians? Honestly, neither of us can be trusted. Like, when it comes to, like, right away who's supposed to go first 
paying attention you really want to put cyclists and and pedestrians together like those are the two worst types of traffic i mean it looks nice though i, I will give them that like it looks nice it's a bob send me over here I'm supposed to be on the 18th floor this elevator takes me to floor two pretty sure I'm not supposed to be here dog oh, okay. right, right here. Huh? that only took me to floor two you, right here. bro all right, I know, sir, I right here. I like this. now I saw your hand point oh. here that's how I went down there But you guys heard what he said, right? You guys heard what happened? If he saw me went the wrong way, why wouldn't he say something? He just wanted me to feel dumb. That was legit. That was legit the only reason that he had. He wanted me to feel dumb. That's why I don't like a lot of doormen. I'm not gonna say all doormen, just, just a few, a handful. Cause they're all miserable at their jobs. Cause when you think about it, Security is a boring ass job because I remember I wanted to be a security a long time ago until I realized they don't actually do anything. They just sit there all day. And I'm a type of person where I get bored is super easy. Like if I wait two minutes in between orders, I'm bored as hell. So I couldn't picture myself during security. Like I had friends that do security and they tell me that, like they keep telling me, oh, I do nothing all day. I'm like, damn, that sucks. When I was at my old job, bro, yo, on slow days, and I remember on slow days, we used to do nothing all day for eight hours. Those are the longest eight hours ever. Time just drags on when you're doing nothing. So that's my theory on why these dudes are so fucking miserable. First floor. I really wanted to say something to him on my way out, but it's never worth it. Picked up another order. So me and the lady who works here, we were both laughing because some dude came speeding through this block and he hit like a nasty pothole and it sounded like his entire car exploded i broke my divider as usual i swear I, i'm the only one who breaks these things i don't see i've never seen anybody else break these dividers except for me You'd have thought I was in Hollywood. I forgot what show they filmed over here. I think it was like some criminal show, like one of those like Law and Order SVU type shows. I believe that's what it was. Because every time you go past there, everyone's just taking pictures. Alright, we picked up second order, about to go play. Look at this guy right here. Look at him. Look at him. Bro. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> So they said right here to leave it with the doorman. Oh, oh. <laughs> Alright, for Sam? Yeah. Thank you. Pulling up, pulling up. Found it. Kitty Academy. <laughs> I to deliver to a Kitty Academy. Okay. Texted our ride. They said they're gonna meet me outside. A few moments later. See, this is why you don't text anybody. That's why I always call these motherfuckers. Hi, right, it's delivery. I'm outside. See, you text them, they don't answer, or you have to call them. This is why I never text anybody. I learned that lesson so fast when I started the job because 
I know I watch a lot of gig tubers and they'd be like, I text them and they didn't respond. I'm like, in my head, I'm just like, you gotta call them. I know everyone claimed they want you to text them, but they're lying. Hi, there you go. Have a good day. Oh, this was a pin order. We don't need that shit. We got another order, a uh, sushi order on Church Street. It is currently, time is currently 2.03. Meaning this might be my last order. Uber, yeah, and Uber, yeah. Uber, right? Yeah, Kendall. Okay. We got it. things first i noticed a long time ago when i first started delivering a lot of residential buildings and the hotels a lot of the residents they just leave their door open like it's so odd and when i say open i mean like legit wide open <laughs> i'm like what are you doing you have no idea who's you have no idea who's roaming these halls it's like for all they know i could be the hash sling and slasher and then the second thing is, so yesterday when I was working, my last order of the night, right? So I got up my final order. I actually was about to go home actually. But then my phone rang cause I forgot to turn off GrabHub. I looked down, that thing said a double order for 30 bucks. So you already know I took it. So after I, del I delivered the first one, went and delivered the second one, right? last order of the night dropped it off it was a leave at door order now recently ever since like last year you guys know i always used to ring the doorbell and a lot of people ask me why i ring the doorbell right i even made a short about it to ask if people ring the doorbell and the majority of people said no so then i started like mixing it up like sometimes i ring it sometimes i don't it really depends on my mood right <coughs> so yesterday I decided not to ring the doorbell for that one. Tell me how, as soon as I placed the order down, I took the picture. He opened his door like maybe three seconds after I took the picture and left. And I heard him around the corner go, Oh, you could at least press the doorbell next time. I'm like, man, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, bitch. I ain't pressing shit. See, I found that funny that one of the few times I didn't press the bell someone complained that I didn't press the bell and also so I was curious about that double 30 right I want to see what how it um split up so the first order I did was approximately like I think it was around like 26 bucks or something like that and then the second order the one the guy that was complaining his order was like three bucks his order was a no tip order of course he complained it all makes sense. I actually I actually picked up another order on Uber just now when I was all, out here yapping. Alright, uh, Michael D. Michael D. Uh, Michael. Thank you. Possibly my last order of the lunch shift. It looked like a bar in there, which is interesting because I have so many bad experiences <laughs> picking up from any type of bar so i'm in one of those elevators where the doorman has to give you access to to go upstairs i'm in here pressing the button i'm like uh they forgot to press to buzz me up you know i keep forgetting that liberty bagels is a popular place like tourist wise all because they have rainbow bagels it's good it's just like a bagel with sugar it's, you know what i'm saying can't go wrong with that oh, i keep getting orders i mean it's not a bad thing i'm just surprised <laughs> the time is 254 usually i'm not getting nothing at this time same thing happened yesterday too let's see i just kept getting orders until 
All right, so this turned into another double order. Picked up at Lenwich as well. First customer was like a minute away. I don't know why it's been so busy this the last two days, but I am not complaining. They told me to leave it in the elevator. I keep getting orders. <laughs> it's usually the opposite. It's usually I don't get nothing. But they keep sending and I keep accepting. Look at this guy right here. Man. Just deliver that order and now <laughs> I'm gonna wrap up the video what actually turned out to be a decently busy day um oh I'm getting another order you know I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do it. anything I anything I do from now on I'm just gonna add it in at the end screw it look at that I'm getting a double what is happening today